Finally, some blue sky and sunshine. It's so nice to see again. The last couple of weeks have been somewhat demotivating. Very cold, very gray, wet. We've really lacked in snow this winter. So I was not so motivated to uh, make videos at the moment. Also take pictures. So to see this again now really uh, gives me lots of energy and makes me excited to film again with spring coming up. I can hear birds chirping, the roads are dry, just really, really nice. Definitely a big boost of energy. And this evening, starting off today's video, which is going to run into tomorrow, with a very special car, the M4 CSL. Now this car is from Daniel. Daniel was the one that sold me my GT3 at DTM Sports Cars. And he's recently got this and I told him if he ever gets hold of one, please let me take it out to film and shoot because it's definitely caught my attention. Super excited to try and see what it's about. It does look fantastic sitting here with the sun setting. So yeah, before it goes up for sale with DTN sports cars, I put a link below the video if you want to check them out. I'm very happy to get my hands on it because yeah, it's not an easy car to get hold of, of course, very limited. It's a CSL, which means it should be really good. Love the bonnet with these red details. Of course, carbon fiber everywhere down here as well. Loving these lights, which are yellow also when you turn the main headlights on. The front end is, well, it does look fantastic, especially because we don't have a number plate on at the moment. Car is brand new, so I've got to take it easy. We just got a number plate up here for now. So yes, I have to take it very easy. I can't push the car. It's got the first 100 kilometers on. So just going to get out, experience it a bit, take some pictures. Ducktail looks brilliant. Yeah, it is a very, very good looking car. So straight away, there actually was one thing that annoyed me and that was the seating position. Okay, I can't get in, that's not embarrassing. Where's the key? Here we go. Don't know if you can turn that beep off, might get annoying. So one thing that did annoy me is, turn this off a sec, the seating position. So first of all, I should say this one has the full buckets. You've got two options as far as I know, this like half bucket and these are, as you can see, the proper full carbon bucket seats. Super cool, look amazing. I felt that they are way too high and there's no electronic adjustment, of course, but what now I have seen, you could actually adjust the seats. So actually you could make them lower. Right now I'm sitting too high and I feel like the rear, I feel like the seat is sat way too upright. But now I've seen this down here, you could actually adjust the angle of the seat and the height which is very nice to see. I was worried that they were totally fixed in that position, but otherwise the interior, yeah, is a very, very nice place to be. morning's drive in the M4 CSL 
to go get some coffee on what is a very sunny but frosty morning. So taking it easy because, well, it's a brand new car, not been run in yet, and we are on summer ties. So just a nice, gentle stroll to the coffee shop, especially in this car with this amount of power and being a BMW it likes to put the back end up very easy straight away I'm really enjoying you can hear all of the things flying underneath it feels very hollowed out which it has been a lot of sound dending removed so you get that race car feeling in here which you should it is a CSL after all so I have been comparing this a little bit to my GT3 now in one way you can just basically because of the price at the moment these are selling in Switzerland for around the same price as a 992 GT3 or selling I don't know if that's the word they are up for sale <laughs> and they have come down a bit now. So they are currently online for more <laughs> than the price they actually cost if you were to order one. That's normal, it's a limited car. You know, people make money off that, buying limited cars and then selling them for even more. My first impressions of this car, amazing, love it. touching the throttle and the back end is already wanting to slide around but yeah it is a fantastic car really like if I was a either a car collector like could afford to you know buy multiple cars at home yes I'm sure I would have one but would I buy one over a GT3 I mean look it's really such a brilliant car but in no way or form does it bring me the same excitement and sense of occasion like my GT3 does. But as a place to be, it is super, super nice in here. So much power. Oh, look at this frosty morning <laughs> in a real drive car, brand new, with arguably too much power. <laughs> taking it nice and easy it does sound quite good definitely better than a stock m4 it's a bit over 100 kilograms lighter as well when i drove the new m4 i felt that it was really just clunky and heavy definitely not an m car this feels much more like how an m car should be but if i could get any bmw right now it would be M3 E46 CSL but obviously this is much more usable you have all of the luxuries inside you know you could jump in this drive it long distance maybe you would struggle in these full bucket seats you could get the kind of half bucket comfort seats which are definitely more comfortable but then again they're also more heavier because you have you know the electronic adjustments and that so having these does save even more weight. I really, really enjoy that. I know I said it already, but just hearing all of the stones. Oh my God. It really puts you back in your seat. 550 horsepower. And obviously because it's turbocharged, it's just getting this instant hit. Not like in my GT3 where you're building up the revs because it's a naturally aspirated engine. The overall design on this, super, super beautiful. Love the ducktail. You can't go wrong with the ducktail on a Porsche or a BMW. It really does sound decent. I mean, bearing in mind again, with all the regulations and everything, I feel like they've done a really, really good job. It's got a beautiful titanium exhaust on. Definitely the most exciting new BMW that I've driven. 
and that's next to the M2CS. I mean, and so it should be, obviously, for this kind of money, but yeah, best one that I've driven in a long time. As the temperatures are very cold this morning, I would say it's time for some well-needed coffee. 